After all, when Galileo discovered he could use the tools of mathematics, we are here to celebrate the completion of the first survey of the entire human genome. Without a doubt, this is the most important, most wondrous map ever produced by humankind. Tap the great strengths and insights of the public and private sectors. Today's announcement represents more than just an epoch-making triumph of science and reason. After all, when Galileo discovered he could use the tools of mathematics and mechanics to understand the motion of celestial bodies, he felt, in the words of one eminent researcher, that he had learned the language in which God created the universe. Today, we are learning the language in which God created life. We are gaining ever more awe for the complexity, the beauty, the wonder of God's most divine and sacred gift. With this profound new knowledge, humankind is on the verge of gaining immense new power to heal. Genome science will have a real impact on all our lives, and even more, on the lives of our children spectrum of science and technology. It is my great pleasure to turn to my friend, Prime Minister Tony Blair, who is joined in the state dining room at 10 Downing Street by Dr. Fred Sanger and other world-renowned scientists. I think of my, my little boy, Leo, growing up and learning and knowing things that his grandfather, after whom he was named, could not even have dreamt of. And when you contemplate that, it's almost not like different generations, but different eras of human existence. And there are enormous possibilities for him and his generation, but also some dangers. And our job is to try and develop the possibilities and thwart the dangers. Process of peace in Northern Ireland. And as we continue progress with another important step forward today. But with the power of this discovery comes, of course, the responsibility to use it wisely. As with the greatest scientific achievements, the ethical and the moral questions raised by this astonishing breakthrough are profound. We, all of us, share a duty to ensure that the common property of the human genome is used freely for the common good of the whole human race. The lines, the fact that we do indeed, as we've often said together, live in a global community. The first great technological triumph of the 21st century.